These next couple word problems deal with percent, and the first two are very easy. They're pretty straightforward. It says, of the 1,500 tornadoes that occurred in the U.S. during 2010, 27.7% occurred during the month of June. How many tornadoes does that mean? Well, of the 1,500 tornadoes, that of the gives you a big hint. Of is going to mean times. So it's just a matter of setting up the fact that we're looking at 27.7% of 1,500, which is going to equate to this little formula. To change a percent to a decimal, you've got to move the decimal point two places to the left. And that's why we have 0.277. Of means times. And all you have to do is type into a calculator 0.277 times 1,500, which is approximately 416 tornadoes. So that's a pretty straightforward type into the calculator kind of problem. And so is this. This says in 2010, the restaurant industry employed 9% of the U.S. workforce. So if there's approximately 141 million Americans in the workforce, how many people are employed by the restaurant industry? It's the same kind of problem as the last one. We're looking at the fact that 9% of the 141 million are employed by the restaurant industry. Translate that. 9% is a decimal point oh nine of is times. All you have to do is type that into the calculator and multiply, and what you end up with is 1,269,000 workers are employed by the restaurant industry. Now, these next ones get a little more difficult. This says, after receiving a discount of 8% on an order of books, Books R Us pays $809. What was the price of the order before the discount? Now, there's several different ways to do this problem. Let's attack it head on, then I'll show you two other shortcuts. The idea here is if it's an 8% discount, that means that you did not pay 8%. So when this price tag was applied to those books, it was already discounted 8%. You were already not paying 8%. If you didn't pay 8%, that means you did pay 92% because 8 plus 92 would give us the total of 100%. Knowing this gives me this idea that my new price, which is the 809, was found by doing 90% of the original price because we only paid 92%. We did not pay the 8. We did pay the 92. So there's our equation translated out with a decimal form. 0.92 is our 92%. I'm letting P stand for the original price. Besides by 0.92, and we end up with a price of $880. Now you can check that by doing that times 0.08. That would be the discount. Subtract that from the original price of 880, and you're going to get 809.60. And that's just one way to do it, to translate it out to be an exact formula. Here's something you can memorize on any of these that you're going backwards to figure out what the original price is. It is just the price paid over the percent paid. Well, the price paid is in the problem, 809.60. Percent paid is not the 8%. 8% was what you did not pay. So you did pay 92% which you need to rewrite the 92% as the decimal point 92, and that is exactly what we did over here when we solved. We just got to it a different way. So this is a nice little thing to memorize on this kind of problem. Price paid divided by percent paid, and that's going to give you your answer. Another way to go at this is from a proportion standpoint. We're looking at the fact that the 100%, the full price, is something we don't know. We don't know the 100% price. We do know we paid 92%. And that price was 809.60. What we would do now is cross multiply, and this gives me 92x equals 100 times this, which is 809.60, divide both sides by 92. And that's the same problem as that, it's just this has got the decimal points moved out. So you really have three ways that you can attack that kind of problem. Straight on equation, memorize this idea of price paid over percent paid, or use the proportion idea, where the 92% reflects the 80960 that you actually paid. You actually paid 92%, which was our 80960. Similar problem, I've just got it set up to do these two things. The price paid over the percent pay. Calculators are on sale at 5% off. If it's 5% off, you did not pay 5%, but you did pay 95%. So the price paid is $114. The percent paid 
is 0.95. So that's just a matter of typing that into the calculator and that comes out to be $120. Proportion way, the 100% price, the full price, you don't know what it is. That's X. You do know you paid 95% and that relates to the $114 that you paid for the calculator. Cross multiply and 95X equals 114 times 100. Divide both sides by 95 and you're going to get the same price right there. Similar problem in that it's percent, but we're going to be going the other way. This says after a 6% raise, Helen's salary is $15.90 per month. What was her salary before the raise? This new salary represents 106% of her old salary. Where does 106% come from? Well, this new salary, she's getting all of her old salary, which would be 100% of her old salary, plus this new raise of 6%. So she's getting 106% of her old salary. Put an equation for this. The new salary, which is 1590, represents or is equal to 106%, which is the decimal 1.06, because we're moving the decimal point two places to the left, times the old salary. I'll let S stand for salary. Divide both sides by 1.06. And 1590 divided by 1.06 is 1500. So her original salary or her old salary was $1,500. I can do the proportion setup on this. Now what we're looking at is two different values. You've got the 100% salary. Now the 100% salary is what her old salary was. That's my X. This 106, which is the new percent, has to correlate to the new amount she's making, which is $1,590. Cross multiply, and this is 106X. Multiply 1590 times 100 is 1590 with two zeros tacked on. Divide both sides by 106. And that's exactly the same arithmetic up here, but without the decimal points, it is still 1500. This time we're looking at the price of a new textbook, including the 9% tax, is $158.60. Find the price of the book before the tax. The idea that the new price represents 109% of the original price. The 109 comes from the fact that the book itself is 100% of the price plus the taxes percent. So the new price which is 158.60 equals 1.09 times the original price which I'll call P. All we have to do here is divide both sides by 1.09 and 158.60 divided by 1.09 is $145.50. That one has to be rounded off a little bit. Proportion-wise, the 100% represents the old price, that's my X, or P, as I used up here. We have 109%, which includes the tax, and that's my amount of 158.60. Cross-multiply, 109X equals 15860, divide everything by 109, and of course we're going to get this 145.50.